Hey guys, it's Gamby5874 and I'm going to be showing you how to slay Dark Beasts. They require level 90 Slayer to kill, so getting them you'll probably be high level anyway, so overall your equipment and such isn't too demanding. Um, they're weak to bolts, so you're going to want to use ranged and essentially just wear the best ranging gear you can wear, of course, with your Slayer Helm and your Ava's device, whichever you have, as well as a ferocious ring. As for your auras, if you're just going to do standard, I recommend taking vampirism, just so you can heal a little more. Uh, your inventory, I recommend using a bone crusher, they always drop big bones. Charming Imp, they have like a 60% no charm drop, but it's always good to take that on your tasks. Uh, some alking runes, just because they drop some rune, rune items and, you know, like a couple dark items, or black items, sorry, uh, and dark bow. So most of that is just kind of alking. And then a couple safe food and a bunny ip. They do hit pretty frequently since they are magic based. Of course, our dragon hide helps prevent most of that. So between vampirism and a bunny ip and some safe food, you should be pretty safe. They drop some herbs. Uh, nothing too fancy, though. Um, they do drop the occasional shark, though, which is pretty helpful when you're, you know, killing them for a long period of time. So to get there, fastest way is to just use a Curadol ring and then teleport there with that. Uh, there are two other locations, or one other location at least, like the Mourner Tunnels, um, but I don't do that. That's like near Temple of Light and stuff, but this is pretty much the best way. Uh, the most other people I've seen here were was like just one other person, so it's usually not too big of a deal since to be in here you have to be on the task anyway. So if you are looking to just farm these outside, obviously you can't do it in Curadol's dungeon. So you just go through. If you have 90 agility, you could take that shortcut into the Metal Dragons. Otherwise, you just go around. Uh, they're fairly simple. You can protect Mage and use that method, but they don't hit too much and you probably won't make your money back so I don't recommend doing that and then as for your action bar of course I just use revolution because that's pretty much what I'm always going to use from now on and then I just have my prayer boost or my ranged prayer boost so that helps you you get a little more defense a little more range attack and strength and then you know have your ultimate ready you can also just go with having regenerate uh, but between your bunny ip and vampirism, if you're taking that aura, which I recommend, then you should be pretty fine. So they're pretty easy. They are accurate sometimes, so you will find yourself getting pretty low. You get assigned quite a bit of them. Like I got 230 something. Um, and so, you know, there are quite a few. So if you might even need to just go back to like Edgeville or something. Um, or you can just run all the way around and go to Zanaris, but that's kind of a waste of time. But anyway, it's a fairly simple task, not much to do, you just kind of shoot them down, kill them, um, and yeah, that's about it. Not Nothing too fancy, no crazy drops, obviously the dark bows are kind of worthless now. So, it's just a standard task, so try not to waste too many pots and stuff on it. You could just bring combat stat pots. Uh, but other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.